Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Alright, so this video is going to be a little bit different. Alright, so obviously I want to talk a little bit about Koharu for sure. Um, she has been announced today, earlier today on the Twitter page. If you guys didn't follow the Blue Archive Twitter page, uh, you can see about 8 hours ago was the post. Alright, they posted, hey, student intro for Koharu. I read a bunch of these comments from a lot of people. Basic. Oh shit, what is. I. I. Blah, blah. I shouldn't show that, alright? I shouldn't show that. That's not me, guys. Somebody posted that on Twitter. Please don't cancel me. Okay, so here's what happened. I was reading a lot of these Twitter posts, and some people even saying, what the heck is... Okay, you know what? This, this Twitter is filled with weird stuff. I'm just gonna not click on anything, and we're just gonna talk. Just gonna talk, you and me. Alright, first things first. Koharu is cute. I know a lot of people like her. Alright, she's waifu, whatever. She could be your best uh, future waifu, alright, future, let's just put it that way. The thing is, some people even talk about a new character that I don't think is out in JP server yet, and that character is called Senna. Alright, Senna, somehow she has a very similar role to Koharu, at least based on what I've been reading, but apparently she's a little bit different, alright, so... Koharu basically is a healer, but she's a striker type. So what do you, what do I mean by striker type? If in case you guys are not aware, the units are divided into striker and special, right? So usually most healers are in the special type. All right, that means like Serena right here. She's a special type. She will stay at the back. You only control four units, and two of the characters are special type. That means you will not be able to use them. They they don't go to the front and shoot. They don't play the role of tanking, taking damage, etc. So Hanae, Serena, these are all healers, but Koharu is one of the few healer that is a striker type. Now just to give you guys a very, you know, brief idea again because I've speak about Koharu multiple times. So let's just glance through her skills one more time. Now Koharu, again like I mentioned, striker, she's healer, she's an explosion offensive type, okay, keep that in mind. Now as you can see, her ES skill is very, very cost efficient. It's one of the best, three costs. Now let's look at how much this do for a 3 cost skill. Number 1, she deals 431% damage to enemies. Number 2, restores her allies HP by 192% of heal in the round shape area. So she does 2 things. She do a big chunk of damage and she heal at 3 costs. ES skill of 3 costs. Now yes, she's in front, she takes a slot of what um, the striker can do. But being able to do two things, dealing damage and heal, is something that not many characters in the game can do. Right now, for global players like us, I have a feeling Koharu is going to be like irreplaceable for a long time. Alright, do not expect her to be to fall off anytime soon yet. And then if you look at the normal skill, right, restore 153% HP to one of her allies with their H when their HP falls below 50%. This is very good. This is very good. You have another auto heal skill that is really really strong right here. Automatically when one of your character falls below half of her HP, she will just heal them. Very good for sure. A passive skill increase her own attack by 26.6%. The last sub skill, every 30 seconds she increase her own healing by 41%. And this is also very good because her EX skill, you know, relies on her healing. Now let's talk about the other character that we are comparing her to, which is Senna in this case. Now to a lot of people's contrary belief, Senna doesn't really compete with Koharu, at least not in my eyes. So here is why. Alright, if you look at Senna number one, she's a special type. Alright, special type, she's someone that stays at the back. That means she's going to be competing with Serena, she's going to be competing with Hayane. Did I say Hayane? Hanae. She's going to be competing with Ayane, like Chinatsu, these, these units for sure. Alright, and like she was featured recently in the, what do you want to call that? Um, the JP anniversary live stream. So this is how she looks like. I don't think she's even out yet. I think she's yet to be released. Or maybe she was just released like a couple of days ago. She's a mystic type, keep that in mind. Okay, but she, since she stays at the back, it doesn't really matter. So here's the thing. Number one, her EX cost is higher. Uh, she's at five cost, but once you skill up to level five, it reduced to four cost. So she summons an emergency vehicle for 50 seconds, this vehicle basically in inherits part of a heal, 25.9%, and she will increase her allies' attack by 22.1%, except herself restores their HP 
by 19.7% of heal every 10 seconds in a round shape area centered around her vehicle. Now the cost is reduced to 4. Now if you don't understand what's happening right here, this vehicle will move around in a circle, I believe, and then it will basically take part of Serena's heal. She will buff her allies attack by 22.1% and it will heal every 10 seconds in the round shape area at 19.7% compared to Koharu. Koharu just heals 192%. So for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, I prefer boom, instant heal compared to like heal, like healing over time. Like you guys know there's DOT, there's also HOT. DOT is like damage over time, HOT is healing over time. I'm not a big fan of healing over time in any games I play because it's usually heal, heal, heal. Every few seconds you heal a little bit, a little bit. And it's very risky usually you, you have a chance of, you know, dying if enemy crits or whatever. I prefer something like boom, burst, instant heal. That's just what my playstyle is like in most gacha games, you know? So this is something that I guess you guys can, you know, take it with a grain of salt, uh, depending on how you look at it. Usually healing of the, over time does give more heals over the long period of time compared to burst heals. That's just how it is. But at the same time, this is an EX cost of 4. That's only if you level it up to level 5. It's a EX cost 5, which is definitely much more expensive than Koharu already. So let's have a look at the normal skill for this girl right here. So every 40 seconds, she buff attack of one ally with the highest attack by 31.9% for 30 seconds. All right, moving on to passive skill, increase her heal by 26.6%. And the last sub skill, increase her allies attack by 17.3%. This part is similar to Saya in a way. This part is not irreplaceable, it's not that strong. I still prefer crit damage personally. Like what's the context here? Why are we talking about Sina? Because I even, I read some comments in the Twitter, some players are saying or suggesting to other players, you guys should skip Koharu. You should wait for Sena because Sena is better. And I practically just read through her skills. I practically just explained it to you guys. I don't think her skills are better. And I don't think she even compete with Koharu on the same level. I just think Koharu is irreplaceable. Now she's not bad. She does buff as well. Um, she does heal as well, which is something that Koharu doesn't really do. Koharu more so deals damage rather than buffs. If you look at her skills, this is uh, deals damage. This one is restores HP. Passive skill increase her own attack. Sub skill, she increase her heal. Koharu doesn't buff allies attack. Which, I understand why Sena uh, can do that, she buff allies attack. If you guys are looking for a buffer, you know, you can always, since Koharu takes a slot in front, you might not even need a healer at the back, at your special type. You can always put Kotama and Hibiki there. And then you're pretty set to go, like that's like generally the bread and butter. Like, come on man, Koharu is just the best girl. Best girl, for sure. Like, I definitely would recommend every single player to pull for her, but again, it's gonna be up to you guys, right? It's gonna be up to you guys to decide. I know some of you guys pulled for Azusa. You don't have much. You know, Pyroxene is left. And you might want to save for the um, swimsuit banners that's to come. I can totally get that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Koharu, do you guys think she's still worth pulling? I think she is. You know, I think she's going to be a very strong character in a long time. Sena, on the other hand, she's really good. But come on, guys. She just released in JP. How long do you guys think we're going to get her? It might take us at least 6 to 8 months. I would say 8 months at most before we actually got Sina in Global Silver. But yeah, just a comparison between the two. As always, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. Take care guys and goodbye.